Hey guys, CP Modder here, back with another video. Now, if you've got a ton of hard drives lying around that you want to dispose of, chances are you've thought of throwing them in the bin, but you should not be throwing hard drives in the bin. The reason for this is even if they're dead and not working, these little discs inside of them can be read and the data can be pulled off them. So today we're going to show you guys how to dispose of your hard drives correctly. Now, the process that we're going to go through today may apply to SSDs, but SSDs are sort of different to hard drives in the way of disposing disposing them is definitely different. But in all, what you should do after doing these processes is definitely go down and recycle sort of the materials that can be recycled out of the hard drives, whether it's the aluminium or metal housing or just the PCB and circuit boards as those materials are good to be recycled and not really the best to be throwing them in the bin. So first and foremost, we need to gather the tools and drives we're going to be disposing of today. Well, not really the tools, but the drives in particular. Now today we'll be working with standard sort of two and a half inch drives, so sort of more smaller notebook hard drives and this process also to I guess applies to the larger drives they're just a little bit bigger and things are a bit bigger inside so the tools that we're also to going to need include basically a more precision type of toolkit now we need some torque screwdrivers as well as occasionally a flathead one and maybe even a security bit to get through all these hard drives now we'll also to possibly need a blade to get through any stickers that say warranty void if removed and maybe even a pry tool, but probably won't need that. So with that, let's get started. First and foremost, we're going to take our drive. Now in our case, we've already opened ours up. However, we just need to undo these six screws, as well as a couple ones underneath the actual stickers. Now to find out if you have any under the stickers, take a Phillips head screwdriver and just go left to right across the sticker. If your screwdriver gets caught on something and goes through the actual sticker, then chances are there's actually a screw in there. So if I do torque screwdriver, undo that screw and the top should be ready to come off. Now, if the top metal plate doesn't come off by itself, you can easily take a flathead screwdriver or a trim removal tool and go ahead and just pry up on that little plate as it doesn't really matter if it breaks as we're going to be breaking this stuff inside of the drive anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter there. Once we get the top housing off, in our case we have right here, we can see all the internals. Now, our particular model has the reed head attached to the top plate, so as we said before, it doesn't really matter if we're damaging it as we're going to be breaking the internals anyway. So what we need to look for are these little small silver discs. They'll be usually in this location right here and it will require these two screws to be undone to lift them out of the hard drive. However, with that being said, there are a few different designs out there so just sort of fiddle around until you get these two little discs free. Now just be careful too as these may shatter and turn into a million billion little pieces that could potentially cut you. I've managed to cut myself multiple times on these little discs so just be careful yourself. Once you have them free, we're going to go outside and get working. Once outside, we'll take the back of our screwdriver or even a hammer, mallet or some sort of big, large, heavy tool and we're just going to break these up into small little pieces or almost into a fine powder. We'll also too want to make sure we're wearing appropriate safety equipment such as goggles and masks so we're not breathing in any sort of hard drive powders and we're not getting any shards of hard drives in our eyes. Once these little discs look like, well, this kind of powder right here, we can sweep it up and chuck it in the bin. Now if you're really worried about someone managing to get those particles and putting them back together and reading your data, you could separate them into three bags and throw them into three separate bins at three separate locations. Though, with that being said, it's probably not really necessary to do that as at this point in time we don't exactly have the technology to reassemble all this sort of powder that we've just created out of our hard drives. The rest of the drive can be disposed of as normal by taking it down to an e-waste place and going ahead and well getting it replaced. However, with that being said, I generally recommend to hold on to the magnets inside the drive as well as the screws as they can come in real handy, whether it be really strong fridge magnets or just sort of magnets to pick up screws off grounds and those types of things. And the screws can definitely be reused in other DIY projects down the line. So I generally recommend to hold on to that. Otherwise, that is the quick and simple way to dispose of your hard drive. Again, this will apply to larger three and a half inch drives and may apply to SSDs. However, SSDs work differently 
family and don't have spinning platters that can be easily read off. Usually if they die, they're dead and no data can be recovered from them. Of course, you could just throw them in the bin, but again, you're leaving yourself vulnerable for people to go ahead and pull your data off, possibly sell it or even hack into your accounts with the data stored on these disks. So otherwise, that is definitely a secure and fast way to go ahead and dispose of your hard drives. Now, if you did want to take it a step further, you could go ahead and use this sort of, I guess you could call it industry standard in some ways of disposing the hard drive where you actually corrupt the full hard drive before you go ahead and do this process of physically breaking up the disks. But for the most sort of average person, you don't really need to go ahead and do that step and we're all done now. So guys, chuck us a like if you like what we're doing. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see down the line. Also to get subscribed to see more videos like this one and other DIY projects down the line. So guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, get subscribed and I'll see you all in the next one. What?